Gabriella here with Teresa, who is the education coordinator for the Museum of the City of Riverside. That's right. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is, uh, we've been doing this for several years now. We're so excited to be back after the pandemic and yeah, have right. things in uh, live and in person. So we're here in our butterfly tent. Hopefully we'll get some to buzz by us. Um, we have three different species in here. We have painted ladies, which are pretty common. Okay. Um, we also have red admirals and monarch butterflies. There's one of our monarchs right over there. And those are the orange ones. Correct? Those are orange. Most of them have some orange in their in their bodies or in their wings. Um, okay. And they are um, all local native varieties to Southern California. So nice. if you have a garden, you may have seen several of these. Uh, in your garden. Yeah, so kind of walk us through what we're doing here today. So kids and parents alike yeah. can come in here, so, kind of explore, not touch, but look and learn, right? And we can help you touch if you if you really want to have a butterfly experience. Okay. Um, they are um, welcome to come in. We're selling tickets for $3 for adults, a dollar for kids. Okay. And we have a lot of different um, plants that butterflies like if you can if you plant them in your garden, you can yeah. learn a little bit about how to attract butterflies to your garden in here. Milkweed well. is one of them, correct? Yeah, so we have what's, um, this is a California native milkweed over here, and that is the host plant for the monarch butterfly. Um, we actually have a chrysalis that formed on this, um, this pot. So this, this is the, the milkweed that you... I um, would want to plant in your garden. It's a, a native species, and this is what the monarch needs essentially to create the poisons in their bodies that protect them as they migrate and uh, live live out their lives. Wow, thank you for sharing that. So tell us kind of the correlation with the ladybugs. I see a ton of them crawling yeah, around. so we just decided to add a little okay. extra interest with the ladybugs. They're, they're another um, insect that people aren't scared of. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's why I'm in so here. So these are kind of like, your, we sometimes call them gateway insects because kids, adults always like ladybugs and butterflies for whatever reason they're not threatening. I'm, as opposed to maybe a grasshopper or a cricket or, you know, other arthropods like spiders that uh, people really have issues with. Uh, so, Very true. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is a way to get up close with insects that maybe uh, most people enjoy. Love that. And real quick before we cut, I do want to ask you, you know, outside of this fair, how can kids and parents come to learn more about? So they can always follow the museum on our social media. We have um, at Museum of Riverside on Instagram, and we are always pushing local um, nature education uh, through the museum. Um, and just all these sorts of fairs. There's lots of places in the Inland Empire, too, to get outside, get into nature, really connect with the animals that do live in Southern California and are still a part of our native habitats. For sharing Absolutely. and sharing your time, Teresa, we appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much.